A radical expression like this has three parts. This symbol, we call it the radical sign. The number inside, we call it the radicand. And the number beside the radical sign, we call this one index. This radical expression can be written as power with rational exponent. In that case, the radicand, this, will be the base. The exponent of the radicand will be the numerator of the rational exponent. So this 2 will be in the numerator. And then the denominator of the rational exponent will come from the index. The index of this radical expression is 3. So the denominator will be 3. So this radical expression can be written as 8 raised to 2 thirds. Let's have these examples. Write each radical as powers with rational exponents. For example, we have square root of x raised to 5. This radicand x will be the base. The exponent 5 will be the numerator of the rational exponent, 5. And for the denominator, it will come from the index. But as you can see, it has no index. So in radical expression, if you cannot see the index, automatically that is 2. Because this radical sign is read as square root of. So the index will be 2. Therefore, the denominator of the rational exponent is 2. How about this one? Square root of 8 raised to 3. This is just the same with square root of 8 cubed. So when you write this as power with rational exponent, 8 will be the base, 3 will be the numerator, and the denominator is the index. Again, we cannot see the index, therefore, automatic, that is 2. So the denominator will be equal to 2. So we got 8 3 halves. Another one. So here, the radicand is AB raised to 4. AB will be the base. And close it with parentheses because they are together. Then, raised to 4, it means that will be the numerator of the rational exponent. And the index 7 will be the denominator. So, we got AB raised to 4 over 7. How about this one? Cube root of A square B. So, let's start with A. A has an exponent of 2, so that 2 will be the numerator of the rational exponent. And then the denominator will come from the index, which is 3. Then for b, for the variable b, since you cannot see the exponent of b, automatic meron yang 1. Okay? It means that this 1 will be the numerator of the rational exponent. And the index 3 will be the denominator. So the answer is a raised to 2 thirds and b raised to 1 third. How about this one? Let's start with x x raised to 4, that's the numerator, then the index is 5, that will be the denominator. Followed by y raised to 10 over the index, which is 5, and z raised to 3 over the index, which is 5. Now, as you can see, we can simplify this 10 over 5. So, we can rewrite this power as x raised to 4 over 5, then simplify, y will be raised to 10 over 5 is equal to 2. Then z raised to 3 over 5. So this will be your answer. How about this one? Write each of the following as radical expression. Given the power with rational exponent, we will write it as radical expression. Let's start with number 1. We have 10 raised to 5 over 6. So the denominator of this rational exponent will be the index, so it will be 6, then the radical sign, base will be 10, that's the radicand, and the numerator 5 will be the exponent of the radicand. x raised to 1 fourth, so the index will be 4, then radicand will be x raised to 1 because that's the numerator but if the exponent is 1 we do not have to write it anymore so the answer is just 4 root of x 3x raised to 5 over 3 so 3 will be the index the denominator this one and then 
the radicand 3x will be raised to the numerator, which is 5. How about this one? So before we can convert this into radical expression, let us distribute this exponent first. So that will be x cubed times the exponent outside, which is 2 over 5, then y squared times the exponent outside, 2 over 5. Then simplify. So to solve for this, you just have to multiply this 3 to the numerator. So that will be x and then 3 times 2, that's 6, copy the denominator 5. Then for y, just multiply 2 and 2, 2 times 2, that's 4, then copy the denominator 5. Now we can convert this to radical expression. So that will be, their index will be 5. And then x will have an exponent of 6, that's the numerator. And y will have an exponent of 4. So the answer is this one. How about this? So first, distribute. And then just the same process as this one. Can you try this and comment your answer?